Welcome to Urban Knife Guy, where we discuss knives for city dwellers. Today, we're going to have a look at this small EDC folder that's everyday carry. The Timber Rattler Scarab Back Giant Folding Knife. I'm quite sure this knife came with a box, but I seem to have misplaced it. In any case, this is the folder in question. It is a traditional lock back folding knife, and this knife is made in Pakistan. Now, before we get into the specs of the knife, uh, let's do some size comparisons. This is a Brother Cowfish, which is a lock back as well. We've got a QSP Worker, which is also a lock back. A regular Swiss Army knife. This is the Spartan with walnut wood scales. And finally, as always, an Altoid tin. Let's have a quick look at the specs of the Timber Rattler Scarab Back Giant Folding Knife. The blade length is 8 inches long. The close length is 9 inches and 3 quarters. And the overall length is 17 inches and 3 quarters. The weight, well, let's check out the weight and bring out a scale. Put this on the scale. And in ounces, that's 20.21 ounces. And in grams, that's 573 grams, over half a kg. So not a very light knife. Now the blade is made from Pakistan stainless steel, which means nothing except it is suspect. The blade thickness is 4 mm thick, and the blade style is a clip point with a hollow grind. There is a slight swedge on the top of the blade. There's a long recastle, but with no sharpening choil. The handle is made from grey puckwood handle with alloy bolsters. Now these are not stainless steel, they're likely aluminum. I did take a magnet to put it across the knife and really it's only the blade, the back spaces uh, and this part over here which is metal or which is magnetic, which is stainless steel. The handle has finger grooves for a good purchase if you can see it. The great thing about this knife is you can get a full finger grip on the handle unlike some other knives which are really small and only allow for a three finger grip. Now you can hold it high like this, put your thumb on top of the scarab back and you can I guess use it for fine work or you could hold it low over here if you wanted to kill a bear. There are no rivets or screws, the scales are held in place with nails or pins and there are back liners and uh, as i mentioned this is the back scarab i guess that's why it's called the back scarab or the scarab back uh, anyway it's, it's really badly carved and not very pleasing uh, in terms of the locking mechanism as mentioned it's a lock back but this lock back is quite stiff when i first got the knife it was filthy especially on the pivot i had to clean it out and oil it and it's slightly better there's no stop pin inside which means that the blade edge actually hits the back of the, the stainless steel backspacer here which probably isn't good for the blade. There are liners in the handle and this is made of brass. In terms of centering, as you can see, this knife is perfectly centered to the left. So does the Timbler Rattler Scarab back folding knife make for a good urban EDC. Well, let's talk about how you can carry this knife. I think it'll fit well in the fifth pocket of your jeans or the change pocket. This will allow the knife to extend out or stick out so that you can grab it easily in case you need a quick draw for self-defense. If you're not in an office, this will work well as a paperweight. And if you ever need to cut a watermelon, this folder will work very well. How many of your spider coats or benchmates can cut a lemon? Seriously, this is a unique novelty knife for knife collectors. It has almost no practical use. The type of blade steel used is suspect and the fit and finishing in general is, you know, very low quality. However, it is technically a working knife. It's like a giant version of a low quality grandfather's pocket knife. As such, it has no value as an urban EDC, but it is a great novelty knife for a collection and conversation piece, which is why I got it. Now, I never got this to think that this would be an urban EDC, but 
I thought it would just be something cool, uh, something novel to have in uh, the collection. And it's not too expensive. You can get it for under 30 US dollars. Uh, while it's made in Pakistan in terms of the materials, the novelty and the size, I think that's, that's an all right price to pay. But let me know what you think. What do you think of this giant folding knife? Do you think it makes for a good urban EDC? Or do you think does it make for a good novelty collector's item? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like the content in general, please subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell. This knife is huge. As usual, keep it folded, keep it safe.